10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. 7.5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. 3, 2, 1, 0. It still is the most powerful machine ever made by man. The noise was uh, extremely loud. We, we had not been able to uh, train for that, really. Uh, and it gets very hard to breathe. Your eyes flatten out, so you get like tunnel vision. Apollo 8 Houston, your trajectory and guidance are go, over. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you're looking real good, Mike. The Apollo 8 mission was designed to uh, fly up 240,000 miles all the way to the moon, enter a lunar orbit, uh, and then come home uh, with a surface propulsion engine. The idea of, of deep space navigation, circumlunar navigation, and, uh, and then re-entering the atmosphere at 25,000 miles an hour. None of that had ever been done before. We were sort of the trailblazers in, in that aspect. The moon, of course, is moving around the Earth about, I think it's about 3,000 miles an hour. And as I recall, we were going around 2,000 miles an hour ourselves, And we'd come 240,000 miles. We're, we were aiming for a point 69 miles in front of a moon, the moving moon. And I think we fired the spacecraft engine something like four minutes to slow down enough to get in lunar orbit. Apollo 8, this is Houston at 6804. You're riding the best bird we can find. And then we looked down and there was the moon. We were 69 miles above it. That's the first time we really saw it. And the uh, lunar surface was terribly distressed with uh, meteorites, holes, craters. One of the things that struck me was there was absolutely no color. It was either gray or black or white. On about the fifth or sixth revolution, we looked up and there was the Earth in the background coming over the lunar surface. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? Oh, I got it right. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. There was a sound scramble for the camera and Bill Anders took the picture. The contrast between the distressed moon and the beautiful blue Earth was remarkable. The Earth was the only thing in the entire universe that had any color. Basically blue, you could see the white clouds, the, the brownish pink continents. It was a uh, beautiful sight. We're very, very fortunate to live on this planet. I don't think any of us had paid any attention to the fact that we would be uh, going all the way to the moon and be more interested in looking at the Earth. There's a sense of awe, in my part at least, that. Uh, this universe is bigger than all of us. That Earthrise photograph gave us all a sense that we live on a fragile planet, that we have limited resources, and we better learn to take care of it.